Hi, I'm on the lunch shift. Great. What are you doing here? Is she okay? No, she's not. She's a pathological liar. Sally? Don't you mean Louise? Apparently she's got to go home to see her little brother because her mum's in Spain. It's true. You be quiet. Lunch. No, I want to go home. Why don't you tell me what's really going on? I have done. Sally. No, you just won't flame and listen. Fine, then Miss Mason will just have to find out from your mum when she gets here. Oh my God, how stupid are you? She's in Spain. Sorry, I just don't believe that she'd leave you and your little brother alone. She didn't want to, but she gets so tired. And then she got offered this freebie, and Tracy was supposed to help. And who's Tracy? The childminder. I've been trying to call her, but you took my phone off me. No answer from Sally's home number. And shouldn't you be with her? She's already made one bid for freedom today. Yeah, I know. That's because I think her mum really is away. I don't think she's lying. Have you tried her mum's mobile? It's the international ringtone. I guess she's abroad. So Sally's little brother really is alone? This is a message for Denise Froggart. My name's Rachel Mason. I'm the headmistress at your daughter's school. Now, Sally's been telling me all about your, um, your little holiday. Don't return this message within 20 minutes. I'll be calling the police. Ben! So, where is he? I don't know. Maybe Tracy's taking him. Won't she leave a note or something? No. Where is he? I don't know. He can't have gone far, can he? Sally? It was my fault. Oh, Sally, that's not what I'm saying. You should never have had a lie for your mum in the first place. I couldn't get her into trouble. <laughs> She's got herself into trouble, into big trouble. Why? What are you going to do? Not call the police? I don't know. Hello. Ah, oh, Miss Froggart. Good of you to call. Well, I suggest you get straight to the school. <laughs> because that is where your children will be. I'm assuming you want to see them. Sally, it's all right. I'm not angry with you. No, she's angry with you. And I don't blame her. Do you actually realise that this afternoon you almost lost your son? And if you had, it would be no one's fault but your own. I needed a break. <sighs> Have you any idea how pathetic that sounds? Tracy the childminder, she said she... Oh, Tracy the childminder, yeah. I finally got hold of her this afternoon. Do you know why she couldn't go round to your house this morning? She had a hangover. Did she come with good references? Rachel. Hey, I haven't even started. She's lucky, you were lucky that I did not call the police. Rachel, I just think you're being a bit harsh. <sighs> I don't. I feel like calling the police myself. Sally, no, come on. No, it's not fair, Mum. I know you've had it hard, but that's not mine and Ben's fault. 
and you shouldn't make us feel like it is. I mean, when did we last have a holiday? I'm sorry, babe. Promise me, you'll never do it again. Kate, I promise. Properly. So that Miss Mason and Mr Lawson are witnesses. Do it or I'll call the police. Okay. I promise I will never leave you again.